to see us through this discussion tonight is Jimmy Bryan, who's the CEO of Nexus Tech Innovations. You are so much welcome to the program tonight. Thank you so much, Yvonne. So one of the main aims of Nexus uh, Tech is to come up with good, attractive online portfolios for clients. Um, what is the benefit of having a good online portfolio? Uh, thank you so much. A good online portfolio ensures that you position yourself mm -hmm. in a market that nowadays we find that a lot of people are online, mm -hmm. a lot of people make their decisions online. Mm -hmm. Say you want to buy a shoes, a shoe or a coat, mm -hmm. most likely you'll go to your phone and Google where you can get shoe or maybe it's in Facebook. So a lot of decisions are made online. Even mm -hmm. personally, before I buy a lot of stuff, even in my house or anywhere, I make a lot of decisions online. So I think online has become um, an emerging market which is very big mm -hmm. that not any, no one can, can do without. Mm -hmm. Yes. So with the need of having maybe an active online portfolio, I need to update my information. What are the benefits of having an active social media and online presence for business and young people? Social media, just like a personal interaction, is, the, is a place where you create interaction. Mm -hmm. and, and you cannot interact with someone when you talk to them once, then you, then you get lost. After some time, you come back to ask them for something, then you get lost. Mm -hmm. So you learn to build customer relationship online. Mm -hmm. And you find these people and you want to make them loyal followers, you want to make them customers, you want to make them clients, you want to make them your advocates. Mm -hmm. So to mean you have to engage them, you have to work with them the journey. Mm -hmm. So it's just about creating an online relationship, creating mm -hmm. a relationship, mm -hmm. just like you can have someone here and you want to continually engage them mm. so that what you have together becomes meaningful. Mm -hmm. So are there lucrative opportunities for unemployed young people in social media influencing? <coughs> yes, there's, there's a lot of opportunity online. In fact, in fact, I was in a forum today and we were just talking about how there are a lot of opportunities online mm -hmm. and how technology is really creating a lot of opportunities, especially for youths mm -hmm. who are computer literate. Because today I can just walk out of here and go to, let's say, Gikomba mm -hmm. and find someone who's selling, let's say, uh, clothes, mm. then I have a good camera, I take pictures, mm. I put them online, <laughs> then by just sponsoring an ad or continually doing that, someone comes and inquires, I just need to put my, my, my margin markup on that thing, mm -hmm. then I can easily go and take that, that cloth, mm -hmm. come sell, have my money. So there are a lot of ways to create opportunities and social media is great and no one should actually say that they cannot do something. Mm -hmm. Or even if you just say that you want to do social media consultancy, it's a big field, mm -hmm. be it Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing, be it even through WhatsApp, mm -hmm. it's a big thing. So let's talk about uh, Nexus Tech Innovations. I, for instance, I want to market the pen that I'm holding. So how do you come in as Nexus to ensure that I get my, to my target audience? As Nexus Tech Innovations, we, we really aim at how do you bridge the gap mm -hmm. between technology, mm -hmm. the customer need, and the, and the client's need. Mm -hmm. So when we come in, you want to sell your pen, mm -hmm. we would, let's say, come and take a very good picture of the same. Once we take a picture, a good picture of that, mm -hmm. we would put it online. And now what are the key value propositions that you want to give? You know, just like if you want to sell to someone physically, also online you have to sell to give a value proposition. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just about buying or vacuum away, but someone is coming to buy value. Mm -hmm. So you can look at that one, how, is, how are you going to price, let's say, variable products of the same thing. Let's say, it depends how much are they selling at. Mm -hmm. The qualities that we are offering, the value that we are offering. So once you're able to brand that product, mm -hmm. you say that we are selling this pen and these are the values that it gives you, someone is able to to have an interest on that and now that's from where you convert. Mm -hmm. yes. um, let's talk about your difference in terms of delivery, in terms of services. Why would I opt to buy this pen at your place, at the Nexus Tech and not any other marketing platform? One thing, one thing, one thing, one thing I'd, I'd say is that the market is big mm -hmm. and, and no one can fully satisfy this market. Mm -hmm. Not even Safaricom themselves can satisfy this market. Mm -hmm. So when you come and position yourself and you say that who are the customers that I want to target, mm -hmm. because there are ways so many, mm -hmm. and you want to say that I will target customers that are within this range of income, mm -hmm. people who can pay for this amount, people are located in this area, and we have things like Facebook targeting, we have mm -hmm. things like Google AdWords, pay per click, mm -hmm. they're able to really help you target the very person you want. So when you have done a good research and you know the exact person you want, mm -hmm. it's very easy to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you have to determine a gap before you, a gap of the product in the market before you start marketing it. So how do you come up with all this? I believe that <coughs> through market research mm -hmm. and 
through general knowledge of knowing what the kind of market you want to play in is because even if it's an ocean you don't you do not just jump in to swim mm -hmm. you have to imagine how low, how the length of this ocean mm -hmm. if you go to a swimming pool there's either a deep end mm -hmm. or the other end and you, you first have to imagine where do i want to and i want to dive in and what do i do i have to put in if i'm to succeed in this field so a business person you have to constantly do research and when you take a client you want to look at this product what is it aiming to do mm -hmm. and what kind of research do you, the research that you do will help you see that the people we are targeting are located in these a b c d areas mm -hmm. and what are their specific needs mm -hmm. so through continuous research we're able to effectively target mm -hmm. because it will also be a waste when you just throw money in there mm -hmm. you just sponsor and you've targeted maybe kids mm -hmm. who are in form four and what you are what you have is something for old more for grannies mm -hmm. so really that means much to bridge that gap you really have to focus on the right thing so this all this also helps you determine the consumer's preferences yes it's possible especially in the era of big data mm -hmm. because with big data you're able to know with, with analysis from that data you're able to know who exactly you are targeting mm -hmm. so with that one it's easy for you to target the exact person that you want to to push your product to mm -hmm. yes let's talk about branding and most young people are startups business startups and the problem that they actually face is branding themselves so what methods of branding would you give to someone who, who is a business startup i think Branding is one of the most interesting things that occasionally I do in my line of work. Mm -hmm. So there is this person I met, let's call him Mr. X, and he was, he's just uh, someone who graduated from college and he has CPA and he has accounting. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to start an, an audit and tax firm. Mm -hmm. So mainly what he's aiming to do is that he comes to an organization, let's say here, and he will come and instead of you employing an accountant, mm -hmm. he will be doing that on consultancy basis and even charge cheaply. Mm -hmm. So when I met this person, he was just starting out and he did not really know how know much to start, how to start. So we were working together and we started from having a logo. Mm -hmm. After I developed a logo, we have we did the business the business cards, mm -hmm. so to mean he can work and give business cards. Mm -hmm. Then we did the letterheads to mean that he can do introduction letters to different organizations, mm -hmm. and then we did our website. Yeah. So even before he, was, he looked even in the troubles of having an, uh, office, an office space, which, he, which is a recurrent, recurrent liability expenditure because you have to keep paying, mm -hmm. he, went to, he started marketing his product. And because someone has a business card, they go to your website and look, mm -hmm. what is it that you do? Right. So, so he was able to start from there. So to mean that there are some basics you have. You have a logo, you're well branded, you have mm -hmm. a website. Mm -hmm. So someone can come and they have your card, they check. And as long as you can deliver, people like people can deliver, mm -hmm. trust issues. If you say that by Tuesday you'll do this, can you be able to do that? Mm -hmm. So the, the, just that small mismatch of attitude, integrity, if you can do that, people do not mind so much about you. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a bit of sustaining an existing business. Sustaining an existing business just like a baby. Mm -hmm. When you give birth to a baby, let's say I have a baby boy. It comes with the, with the daily challenges. Today mm -hmm. he wakes up, maybe he's sick. Tomorrow he wakes up, he laughs a lot. Tomorrow he wakes up, he cries a lot. And those are just the daily challenges that comes with running a business. Mm -hmm. But then it requires that constant discipline and the formation of a teamwork. Because when I have a team, mm -hmm. there's something that I may not be good at, but someone can cover up for that. Mm -hmm. There's something that maybe I can be good at and someone cannot. So just when you have a strong team and structures in place that we know that this person is responsible to this and how do you respond to, to mm -hmm. this instead of something. Mm -hmm. So that one really helps to shape just having a teamwork and once you have a team, a team in place, just the daily persistence. Mm -hmm. Today I made 10,000, tomorrow can I make 20? Today I had a 20, a tender of 50,000, tomorrow can I have a tender of 500,000? Mm -hmm. So just the baby step and being constant at it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's say you've come up with, or you've created me a way, an online website. Is it easy for me to sustain the website? Is it easy for me to keep the clients that you guys have, have made av available for me? So one thing that I try to do, that we try to do as a, as, as a company is that we try to work with you the, the journey because we, we, we realize that we are developing this thing for you and it's not for us. So let's say you give me a task to develop for your website. Mm -hmm. I'll first come and really find out what is it that you want this, this, this website to serve you for. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to blog to be creating content and, content and share to the public. I'd like to do a vlog, so to mean I'd, I'd link you to a YouTube channel mm -hmm. or maybe we have a, a larger hosting space. And then now I train you on how to do it. Mm -hmm. because I appreciate that maybe you may want to do it alone and it's very good if you can do it alone. So there's just the basics of back end where I can teach you if you want to post this, how to go about it mm -hmm. so that you can effectively do it your way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before we hand over, we have to do that training and ensure that what you do will really be of help to you. All right, let's talk about 
marketing strategies. Um, what would you recommend for a business startups in terms of marketing strategies? I think my story when I was starting up, I started up broke because I was starting from a point of, I didn't have capital. A lot of young people say that I want to start this business, but I don't have money. I want mm -hmm. to start this business, exactly. but I don't have connections. Mm -hmm. But then I believe it's possible to start from a point of lean. There's this book I was reading, it's called, it's called The Lean Startup. Mm -hmm. And it just talks of, of, of how, how a company can start from nothing. And grow. There's also this book by by, by Desmond, Desmond, the one of the, which talks about the power of broke. Mm -hmm. When you just start from nothing, and you are growing. So when I was when I was starting out, I just I was just starting from home, and we woke up one day with my friend, and we were so broke, mm -hmm. and we say, what can we do? Mm -hmm. And from there, we were having an answer, and we developed our WhatsApp message, and we shared in our contacts. Mm -hmm. And amazingly, by the end of the first week, we already had clients like five. Mm -hmm. and each of them were paying and you were doing these things and as long as you've developed a, a, a personality that people can believe in mm -hmm. you can leverage on on social media you can leverage on your contacts you can leverage on your networks mm -hmm. because those are the first people who help you mm -hmm. and resources just it's not just about money resources are about the people you know they're about the people around you mm -hmm. they're about the, the 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 social social networks that you have mm -hmm. yeah so you can leverage on that and just start all right uh let's go back to nexus tech innovations um, you started this and already you had done something different while in college, like what motivated you to? As, 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 a, as a person, when, when I get out, when I got out of school and, and I was trying to position myself and mm -hmm. trying to find, find a meaning out of my life, I wanted to know where is it that I can really position myself. And when I met with my friend and we were looking at what we can do together, I just found the field of tech very interesting because I know that almost every business right now to survive, you have to integrate the aspect of tech, be it in farming, be it in farming, be it in, be it in <coughs> just in any, anything you do, mm -hmm. you have to integrate the aspect of tech. So that I think that tech is quite a big field and it's coming to Kenya. We have things like artificial intelligence, we have things like robotics, we have things like, like we have just amazing things that are coming into place, mm -hmm. into play, and I wanted to be part of that. Mm -hmm. So that's what really motivated me, and every day I dedicate a lot of time to just read, to know what's happening where, and it's been an amazing journey. Mm -hmm. yes. So far, how have you been able to maintain your customer relation? Customer relationships are, mm -hmm. I don't, it's not a very easy task to do, mm -hmm. because just like if you are to stay in a village, it's almost, it's almost eminent that there are people who will hate you, mm -hmm. there are people who will like you, there are people who will come to you once and then they go. But then how you just try to create a customer relationship is by one consistency. Mm -hmm. If I tell you that I will deliver this, let's even have a checklist so that when there's an issue, can we say that I say this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. Then also to be someone who can be able to advise your clients because mm -hmm. at times someone comes with a need that you see that maybe may, it may not serve them mm -hmm. because maybe it's not what they need or someone comes with a need and you see that you feel that maybe there's a way that it should be twerked. Mm -hmm. So when you come and tell someone this is the way to go, as someone who you don't just want the money, but you're willing to just offer free advice on something that will serve them. If you help someone succeed, they won't forget you. So I think that's the best position to just position yourself as someone who wants to help others grow. So when you con constantly do research, you see their business and you ask them that, instead of doing this, can you do this? And they find sense in that. And when, you, when they do it, they hack it they will always stay because if you help someone grow, they will come back for you. Mm -hmm. yes. You have an online portfolio that is Nexus Tech Innovations and somebody out there maybe wants to come up with one, what things do they need to consider before they start this business? So <coughs> one of the things that I think someone should consider before starting a, a, a business, to, to me I feel that our website is really necessary. Mm -hmm. Nowadays it's very hard, in fact even the government Nowadays, to tender, you have to have at least an email, an official email. Instead, instead of having a Gmail, you should have Diana at something.com or mm -hmm. dot, dot co dot ke or dot net or dot advocate. So it's very good to just go that way. So that let's say you have mails, they are backed up. In case of anything, you can have them there. Then now also with the website, in case let's say you give someone a business card, you go for a meeting, you give mm -hmm. someone a card. Mm -hmm. When they go back, they can check and really deeply see who you, who what you've been doing. They can be able to see the list of clients you have. Maybe they contact them mm -hmm. and be able to see who, which kind of who can, what a kind of a, a person you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, through looking at them. So for a person who only wants to concentrate with using online platforms to do their marketing and maybe give a word of advice to their clients. Uh, is it efficient enough? It's very efficient. There are people who 
like I, I was talking to someone the other day and she was telling me about a lady who had <laughs> who had a, a shop mm -hmm. in Westlands mm -hmm. at, at a prime place where, where she was paying a lot of money mm -hmm. but then it was not giving a good payback mm -hmm. then she decided to invest on Facebook and she was selling a lot in Facebook until she decided to close the shop mm -hmm. and just work from home and now just focus on delivering. Mm -hmm. Instead of now paying rent, you know, was now f she was now focusing on the issue of logistics. Mm -hmm. So I think social media is very big. We have Facebook, we have Instagram, we have Twitter, depending on the, on the, on the, on the let's say, ages of people that we are dealing with. So it's very big and there are, there are a lot of big businesses that are, are just online mm -hmm. and they're doing great. So it's very possible. All right. Let's say I've entrusted you, as we wind up actually, I've entrusted you with my business. You've marketed it, you've looked for clients on behalf of me. Now, what mode of communication do you use? Do the clients report di directly to you or they talk to me? I think <laughs> depending, on, depending on the nature of, of a product that you deal in, mm -hmm. because let's say if you deal with a, in a product, let's say a shoe, I won't like to meet someone. Mm -hmm. I just need to know the price, know how it looks. I pay, I, I get my shoe. Mm -hmm. But let's say if it's something, let's say consultancy or something that requires a large amount of money, people want to put a face. Because at times you also do marketing on social media, but someone wants to meet you first because let's say you want to do a system for someone that would cost, let's say, 200,000. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for someone to send 200,000 without meeting you. Yes, it's possible, mm -hmm. but very hard. So in such a situation, what you do is that first you, they, they gain interest. Mm -hmm. After they gain interest, you have to have follow-up meetings mm -hmm. where you now meet and discuss or maybe they come to office. So depending mm -hmm. on the nature of product, because of a product, because if I'm, if I'm selling tissues at 100 shillings, why would I even waste my time to go and see someone who's selling? I just need to pay online and it will be delivered. Mm -hmm. But if it's something which is big, which is uh, or larger, someone would really like to put a face. So in such a situation, maybe this person may need to meet the owner of the business. Mm -hmm. So now I link them up so that they meet and now proceed with the process. All right, thank you so much, Jimmy Bryan, for coming, we really appreciate it. That was Jimmy Bryan, CEO of Nexus Tech Innovations. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on the bulletin. My name is Yvonne Anula. Enjoy the rest of your viewing. Coming up next is the Forex Report.